Good afternoon. Um, my name is Stephen Taylor from the Department of Basic Education. So uh, why is evaluation important? Um, I think we know that there's massive challenges around learning outcomes in South Africa. We also have limited resources to address those challenges. So we can't afford to just do things that are good in theory or that might work. Um, it's, it's too late for that. Um, and we also have a lack of knowledge around what is working and what should be done. Um, I think what evaluations have shown us, what they've shown me, is that many well-intentioned, good idea about interventions actually do not have the desired effect, and that might not just be because they were poorly implemented, uh, they interact with all sorts of other things. So it's very sobering to know that a lot of things don't have the desired impact. It's also useful to know what kind of impact you can reasonably expect from interventions that do work, uh, and that, that is sobering because I don't think there's a lot of things we have evidence on that have big effects that we can choose between. Others have spoken quite a bit about the uh, interaction between quantitative and qualitative. I think we definitely need to move away from silly debates about which one is better. That's t totally not the way to think of it. Um, they should inform each other, as has been suggested. Um, I think qualitative uh, research can get at things like what sorts of cases or dynamics or mechanisms might be at work and then quantitative comes and says well in what proportion of schools or children do we actually see that um, happening um, or quantitative can answer questions like what is the average impact something that for a policy maker is really important it is interesting to know how something worked in a particular school or context but if you're going to do something on a large scale you need to know average impacts um, that's, it's, I think it's easier said than done, this interaction between quantitative and qualitative, and we're still figuring out how to do that really well, but that, that certainly should be the intention. Um, what I'm most interested in on the topic of, of reading, I'd say obviously trying to find potentially scalable modalities of classroom-based teacher support uh, interventions in, in South Africa, um, focusing on foundation phase literacy and numeracy as well. Um, and I'm also interested in measuring the longer term impacts of those. So where things can have an effect in, in early grades, what is the long term effect? And there's interesting dynamics about, you know, if you, if you focus on home language uh, interventions versus English interventions early on, what are the longer term benefits of, of each? Um, and, and so we're going to be doing a lot of work like that. Um, research, I'm picking two articles, but they kind of similar articles by the same authors. Um, the two systematic reviews done by Evans and Popova. Um, one was on education impact evaluations in general, and one was specifically looking at teacher training interventions, saying, what does the evidence say? Um, so the, 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 they did the kind of review of reviews thing, where they looked at about six different systematic reviews of evaluations and said, what are the common findings com coming out of it? And what it shows is, firstly, how important systematic reviews are over and above just single studies. But secondly, even when you're doing a systematic review, the decisions you make around which studies to include totally determine your results. And even sy systematic reviews can, can, can give you different results. Um, so a lot of lessons to be learned from that. The message to our president uh, would be that there might be a, lot, a large number of different things that we could or should be doing around reading. Many of those societal campaigns, mobilizing parents, etc. But what we really need is a classroom based, systematic program of support to teachers because that interaction between children and teachers in our schools is a critical opportunity and we need that to be systematically supported. Um, you can call it the triple cocktail, as Brahm does, you can call it the five T's perhaps, um, but we do think that some kind of structured learning program. Um, with the right materials, supported by a form of professional development that really is intensive enough to actually have an effect uh, is an important combination. Thank you.